Miriam Debeau is known for her role as a Bond girl in the 1987 film The Living Daylights. Her performance in this movie is often seen as a significant point in her acting career. Now, think back to when you first saw Miriam Debeau on screen. Was it in The Living Daylights or another one of her films? Which of her roles do you think was the most defining for her career? We're curious to hear about your favorite memories or experiences related to Miriam Debeau. Your stories and memories are valuable to us, so please share them in the comments below. Stay tuned, as we have many interesting, surprising, and touching facts about her life and career to share with you. Miriam Debeau, known for her role as a Bond girl in The Living Daylights, brought a unique presence to Hollywood during the 1980s. Her portrayal of Cara Milovy was a shift from the typical Bond girl image, offering a more relatable and human character. This role highlighted her ability to bring depth and warmth to her characters, influencing the way Bond girls were perceived and written in future films. Beyond James Bond, DeBose's work in cinema includes a range of characters that showcase her adaptability as an actress. Her performances have been part of the evolution of female roles in the industry, contributing to a broader representation of women on screen. Miriam Debeau continues to be recognized for her work in film and television, reflecting the lasting effect she has had on the industry. In a notable year, she worked under the direction of two Oscar-winning directors, Taylor Hackford and Sidney Pollack, showcasing her acting skills in challenging roles. Her family ties in the entertainment industry include her cousin, singer Mike Debeau, and by extension, actress Olivia Debeau. Beyond her film career, she played a role in a real-life love story by introducing her friend Priscilla Phillips to musician Roger Waters, who would become his partner. Family ties became stronger when she relocated to California, leading to a shared home purchase with her cousin in 1988. Her portrayal of a Bond girl in 1986 was a deliberate effort to avoid stereotypes, reflecting her advocacy for women's rights, which was evident in her participation in a significant women's rights march in 2011. Despite not being French, she speaks the language fluently, having grown up in France. This background gave her an edge on the French stage, where she feels her expressiveness and quick wit are amplified by the language's romantic nuances. In the world of high-stakes filmmaking, support from influential figures can be pivotal. For one actress, this support came from Barbara Broccoli, an associate producer who played a crucial role in her landing a leading role in a major film. Despite being referred to simply as Barbara's friend by the director in his memoir, her talent shone through on the big screen. Off screen, she shares a habit common to many, that of smoking. Her family history is marked by resilience and adaptability. Her ancestors hailed from Georgian nobility and faced a new life in France after political upheaval in their homeland. Her grandfather, once a general, turned to making yogurt to sustain his family in their new country, living a long life that spanned nearly a century. Early in her career, she appeared briefly in a celebrated film set in Africa, portraying a character who comments on the chilliness of the weather during a hunting scene. Later, she expressed dissatisfaction with a photo shoot meant to promote one of her major film roles, feeling the images did not represent her well. She holds in high regard an actress from a previous generation, known for her role as the wife of a famous spy character, citing her as a personal favorite. At a young age, she stood at a significant crossroads in her life, contemplating marriage, yet in hindsight, she expressed relief that the union did not occur, recognizing her own unreadiness for such a commitment at that time. Her elegance and poise on screen earned her high praise, being likened to a previous star known for her sophistication. In her personal life, she experienced the loss of her centenarian mother, a milestone that marked the end of an era. In a life marked by both triumph and trial, a notable actress faced a severe health scare during a routine workout in 26, surviving a brain hemorrhage that could have ended her career. Her resilience is mirrored in the admiration she receives from the film industry, particularly from director John Glenn, who has repeatedly shown his trust in her talent by casting her in significant roles across various projects. Despite her success, she carries a personal battle with a fear of explosions, a challenge she admits to confronting in her line of work. Raised in the cultural hubs of Paris and Geneva by a Georgian mother and Dutch father, her early life was a blend of diverse European influences. Her acting career led to a friendship with Margox Hemingway during the filming of Double Obsession. She saw potential in Hemingway's acting abilities, hindered only by a lack of formal training and overshadowed by her famous surname. The untimely death of Hemingway was seen by her not as a downfall, but as a tragic accident, remembering her friend for her kindness and vulnerability rather than her struggles with fame. 
in November 2002, she took on the role of host for Bond Girls Are Forever, celebrating the iconic women of the James Bond films. Sharing her experiences from the living daylights, she brought together stories from fellow actresses, connecting the legacy of Bond girls across generations. In a twist of fate, her early life was marked by her father's struggle with a severe illness that left him unable to communicate. Despite this, she grew up in a family where her mother played a significant role in a major international organization's European operations. Her acting career saw a setback when she was deemed too youthful for a coveted film role, which was then passed on to another actress. Overcoming a life-threatening brain aneurysm, a brave woman alongside her partner, a filmmaker channeled their experience into a documentary shedding light on brain injuries. Their work provides insight and raises awareness about the consequences and recovery associated with such medical events. Despite the challenges faced, she remains active in the modeling industry, showcasing that talent and beauty do not fade with time. Her foundation in the arts was laid at a prestigious drama school in London, equipping her with skills that have undoubtedly contributed to her resilience and adaptability in both her personal and professional life. In a notable casting decision, she was chosen for the lead female role in a major film over Virginia Hay, who was also considered for the part. Despite this, Hay was not left out and appeared in a smaller capacity. From a young age, she was in the company of celebrated figures, such as the time she met Grace Kelly at a charity event. Although she stumbled over her words, Kelly's gracious response left a lasting memory. Raised in two culturally rich cities, she speaks her native French and English with equal ease, the latter without any trace of an accent. After her role in a notable spy film, the actress faced a crossroads in her career. She was presented with opportunities to star in two profitable films that were more sensational in nature. However, she chose to decline these offers, seeking different paths in her acting journey. Years earlier, she had auditioned for a major adventure film, meeting a director who would later become a significant part of her life. At the time, she sensed the role of the heroine was destined for another, which was confirmed when a different actress was cast. It wasn't until over a decade later that their paths crossed again at a social gathering. This reconnection blossomed into a personal relationship, leading to their marriage after a few years of companionship. In a turn of events that reminds us of the fragility of health, actress Miriam Debeau suffered a brain hemorrhage in 27. This serious health scare brought her career to a temporary halt and led her to co-author a book and produce a documentary exploring the experiences of brain injury survivors. Her personal journey through recovery highlighted the challenges faced by those who endure such life-altering events. It's a testament to her strength and determination that she was able to turn a personal tragedy into an opportunity to raise awareness and provide support for others going through similar struggles.